From Hollywood. Come on now. It's the Tom Likas Show. Man, I want to conversate with Tom. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going today? Great. Good, good. So, Tom, uh, you know, I've been listening for a while. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh, well, basically, I live with my with my parents right now. I'm just starting to go to school. I'm 23, and uh, well, this girl moved in. And uh, why? Why? Kind of, uh, well, she's running a room out. She's renting a room at your parents' house. Correct. Okay. And uh, so we've been kind of hooking up, you know, here and there. And uh, well, like I'm, I don't know, wanted to say I'm starting to get feelings for her, but I kind of am. So, I mean, like, I don't know what to do. She does have two kids. And, uh, but, I mean, they're She never has two around. kids? Yeah. I know this, Tom. That means she's going to get knocked up by you, too. Oh, uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not is not good enough. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, and let me guess, you ride bareback. Well, I use condoms, and then sometimes I have done it before in the past. Yeah, well, guess what? It only takes one time. Yeah, I know. And what um, birth control is she on? She's not on any right now. That's right. She, and why she, is that? Well, she's saying that she wants to take the shot. Why she is she not her. on birth control? Because she hasn't she hasn't been with a sexual partner in a while. So no, she, she's been with you several times. Yeah. How long does it take to go on birth control? Not that long. Right. How come she hasn't got on birth control? Well, she just doesn't have the time to go to. Oh, Planned stop! Parenthood oh, or, please! If she if has time working. to, if she has time to get boned, she has time to go to Planned Parenthood. I'm telling you why she doesn't use birth control because she wants to have a baby. I mean, yeah, I know she probably does, even though she tells me she doesn't. She wants to have a baby. She's already had two. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. And the thing, too, Tom, is I can get asked. Like, I mean, I have I have girls that throw themselves at me, but I just haven't done it because I don't know why. Like, it's just, I guess she's getting in the way or something. I, I just don't know what to do right now. Yes, you do know what to do. And you know what not to do. But you're doing it anyway. So you think I should just stop having sex with her? Yes! Get birth control? You should stop having sex with her, period. She lives in your parents' house. She has two children with two other... Uh, how, by the way, Dean told me, you didn't even tell me, that the, the two other kids are with two different guys. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. This is how she is. She is an irresponsible individual. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not so. a matter of not having sex with her until she gets on birth control. Not having sex with her, period. So I should just go out and just get more ass than a toilet seat, right? And stop having sex with your parents' tenant. Okay, I mean, it's just... Yeah, I guess it was just because the sex was so great. You That's wouldn't it. have known that had you done the right thing in the first place. That's true. I mean, also, it's because before it was two tenants. It was two female tenants there. And, um... I had sex with both of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, so, like, that's why I was also did because, like, we were having threesomes and stuff like that, so. Yeah, well. And no birth control with anybody. You better learn how to use a condom, son, 100% of the time. I will, definitely. 100% of the time. I mean, do you want to be like so many guys who call this show? No. Pathetic? No. Paying every penny you have into supporting children you didn't want to have? Absolutely not. Then why aren't you doing something about this? Yeah, I'm going to start. Well, but why I mean, haven't you done it? Why right. haven't you done it? Well, I always use a condom just that from time to no, time. No, you don't. You told me already during this with call. With her, no, I haven't used a condom 100% of the time. No. That, why not? Because, I mean, sometimes we're just there, we're at home, and I didn't have any. And then just... you can't have sex with a, 
a friggin' baby machine. Right. She is a human Xerox machine. Do you understand <laughs> that? Yeah. You are pressing the print button every time you have sex with her. Wow. Can't you see that? You need me to so tell I mean, you that? No, I, I, I do see that, but it's just... It's, but you it's, don't, don't care. Know. You don't even care. You don't even care about your own goddamn life. No, I do. No, it's you just... don't. What college did you attend, son? Uh, well, I just signed up. I'm going to start going no, to the oh, I'll take that as a nun. As of right now, no, but I start classes. So you, you were boning chicks for the last five years instead of going to college, right? Yeah. Right. Right. I, you think I couldn't tell? Why do you think I asked you that question? And what uh, what place of higher education have you signed up with? Uh, University of Phoenix. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. In my mind, any place that has an 800 number is not a university. I mean, I was thinking about starting to do the community college thing and then try to transfer. Uh, but, I mean, I do work full-time, so it, it is oh, kind of harder. God, you're killing me. Hold on a second, Jose. Uh, T.A., what did you want to say to Jose? Uh, Jose, uh, how can you, uh, you know, say in the, in the breath that you're talking there that uh, you go to school, yet it seems like you don't even have a brain at all by getting involved with a single mother? No, I mean, I, I know. I know exactly what I shouldn't be doing. And, I mean, I've listened to the rules in the past, and I, I always follow them. I mean, I don't do, know you understand, do you understand that they just see you as an ATM? That's it. Yeah, I don't want you, that to happen. You're not an ATM. It doesn't, you know, you're going to get drained of every single resource that you have. And once that's once she's done with all that, she's just going to move on to the next one, probably one of your friends or something else like that. By the way, what fine uh, occupation do you have now, Jose? Uh, I just work for an insurance company. It's just yeah, that's random. Great. Yeah, it's just a random job. That's wonderful. You don't need insurance because uh, obviously once you uh, keep uh, dating single women, you're going to have a heart attack and die at an early age. Well, I I usually don't. That's the thing. It's just that she kind of just moved into my parents' place. She's a good-looking girl, and we started having sex. The sex is great, and I guess that's that's what did it. And then the thing is too that like like I was telling Tom, I can get girls. Because girls throw themselves at me all the time. Why, why but, would you? Why would you even make that statement? When, and yet you're locked in with this single mother. I know. That doesn't make, that that's, doesn't make that's any the, sense that's at the, all. That's the weird thing. Like I don't know why. Like I'm not. I don't want to say that I'm getting feelings, but like oh. I don't know why. Oh, oh my oh, god! Feelings. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh. <laughs> you are kidding me. I know, Tom. I don't. I don't know, Tom. Like, just give me advice. You think for, she like, has feelings for you? Are you kidding me? I don't know. <laughs> You're nothing but a number to them. That's a, that's it. That's all you are. You know. They, they, they you know what number? Goes, you know what number it is? You know what number it is? Ta, nineteen ninety five. That's how much the oil change is going to cost that Jose will be doing for me. <laughs> and could you also check my brake fluid and my washer fluid too? That's right. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's that's not going to be happening. Oh yeah, you, that's you, not going to be that happening. Now, but understand, like the famous saying goes, women are just like monkeys. They're never going to let go of another branch until they firmly got a hold of another one. So you're you're just one of the branches that's that's in the way of uh, this this girl's path, and and you're gonna sit there and say you got feelings and you're falling for her and all this kind of stuff, and she's reeling you in, and the whole time you know she's just laughing her ass off and taking you to the bank, like you did to the other two guys. Exactly. And then, but on this time you, you'll be having a kid with her, and now you'll be paying you know alimony and child support and stuff, and and you're gonna be having to do a lot of oil changes for the rest of your life to pay for that. By the way, she's living in your parents' spare bedroom because she's broke. <laughs> well, and, yeah. And you know who she's gonna expect to pay for everything? Probably myself. If, you if, lover if, boy, if, that's right. Probably, probably. There's no probably to it. You're gonna pay for it, and you're gonna you're, you're gonna go broke. That's it. Once you're once you drained of everything and you're broke, they're just, just going to move on, and then you're going to have no resources. You're going to have no energy. You have no life at that point, and you're going to sit there and go, "God, what happened?" I by the way, look. by the way, Jose, after you're done mowing my lawn, uh, I've got uh, some bushes I need trimmed, some hedges. Hey, my, my the bougainvilleas are out of control. I need you to just trim oh, those man. back. Yeah, my truck needs to be washed. Uh, you know, anything that, to help you with your new kid that's probably already on the way by now too. 
Uh, well, I mean, last time we, we had sex, I gave her the day after pill. So I haven't had sex with her since. Yeah, of course you stood right there and watched her take it too, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> I'm just going to go in the bathroom and take this, honey. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wake so, up, buddy. Wake up. If you listen to Tom's show, you have to understand. It's, you know, they're always planning, plotting, scheming, and scamming. That is exactly right. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. The Tom Like is show and one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Like is one hundred one. I am your professor. Welcome to the classroom, Jennifer on the Tom Like is show. Hello. Hi Tom. How are you? Great. I was offended by the. I heard the end of the call, so maybe I am missing something. It's my first time listening, first time calling, but I was a little offended by what was just said. And again, I caught the tail end, but didn't like what I heard. What at exactly all. were you offended by? Well, I am 38. I look good. I do very well. I have excellent credit. Um, drive a nice car. Uh, and my biggest gripe with men is that they love chicks with baggage because i lose but what is it that, that again i asked you a question and you're giving me your your curriculum vitae i i asked you what i said that you were offended by and i never heard the answer okay i was offended when the guy said that women are like monkeys they don't leave one branch till they get to another i was a caller who said that yes well men do the same thing and I'm sorry, but men love chicks with baggage. That's just the way it is. Well, I make, I make my living talking to guys who hook up with chicks with baggage. And I tell them, no single mothers for you. No single mothers. Stay away from single mothers. They don't listen because I can't get a date. <laughs> I'm independent and I do mm -hmm. pretty well. And men don't like me. They want the chicks that... You know, they they all want the girls with the kids and the bad credit and the woe is me story. Well, darling, don't I'm not be, a you know, darling, don't be so sure that that's the reason. How tall are you? Five four. How much do you weigh? One forty. Well, darling, uh, you know, could be the extra twenty pounds you carry. No around. way. Oh, no yeah. way. Could I look be. good. Well, everyone thinks they look good, darling. Why don't you send us a photo? We'll put it up on our MySpace. I guarantee you, I will. And we will let people give their honest opinions. He's a piggy piggy. But you can't do one of those angle shots. It's got to be a shot where you can see all of you. No, no, no. I just took one at the uh, Speedway. Um, at at the Speedway. Speed That's where all the hot chicks are. California. <laughs> I love NASCAR. What can I, I do, I too, but I've, I've seen the I, women there. I've <laughs> never picked up a chick at NASCAR. Never. You pick me up, Tom. You'll the, see. The you'll hottest see. chicks at NASCAR work for NASCAR. <laughs> How do I get the picture to you? Because you're uh, going to owe me an apology. Dean is going to tell you, and I will post those, and we'll let the boys uh, give their honest opinion about how you look. Thank you. I'll be interested to hear. All right. There we go. Dean, get those pictures. He's a piggy piggy. Uh, I have no doubt about it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Carlos on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Professor Likas. Yes, sir. First first time, long time. Thank you. Okay, so I'll make a long story short. Sure. I've been uh, dating this girl. We've been on and off for five years now. Okay, she's 26. I'm 27. Hi, that's no strike one because you were under 25 when this started. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, she's got no kids. Okay, I met her when she was in college. Okay, I met her through a mutual friend, a high school friend that went to college with her. So we partied together whenever I met her then. Uh, we started dating on and off. We've been together now. We tried it three times already. Every time we hang out, we don't get together. You know, we're just doing our thing or whatever thing is, you know, great. You know, she gets all, she gets all, you know, feelings. She gets attached. We get together and we break up. Okay, now, now she was been in a relationship. Uh, I, it's been about a year and a half that I stopped talking to her. She got into a relationship, right? I haven't gotten into a relationship since. The only relationship I've been in the past, maybe, what, six years, was been with her. Okay, now, my, my, my what, what I want you to tell me is that now she's all pushing that she wants to be with me, she wants to end up with me, that she wants to marry me, and yada, yada, but, and I'm like, okay, if that's the case, cool. She likes to go out, she likes to go to bars, she has to hang out with her friends or whatever. She goes to grad school right now, so I guess she's got her stuff together, right? 
But I told her, if you're gonna do, if you want to do something like this, there's some things you need to change. She didn't want to give it up. She's like, well, I like going out with my friends. I don't know. It's something about me and letting my girl go to a bar, you know, about girls at a bar. Yeah, well, you're right. So why do you tolerate it? Uh, well, I, I like the girl. You know what I'm saying? I, I but like you should, but that you shouldn't tolerate that. That, that's true. You know what? The moment I don't tolerate it, that's that's when we start like like bickering. You know what I mean? Because uh, it was well, like, then maybe it's time for you to move on. The, the, the thing that I don't get though is like, why is she spitting all that game? Why is she talking about? It? She wants to be with you, but like, she's well, not really I like I never worry about trying to figure out why other people do what they do. I do what's good for me. True. You should do what's good for you. Yeah, because I mean, and, and even I don't get it because I mean, I make you know, I do good. Like I said, I you know, I, I talk to girls, and and the thing is that we have mutual friends. You know what I mean? So she likes to hang out with, with, with my friends or whatever. And then if I go hang out with my friends, then you know, it's like we see. Each other, I, I bet like, you. Oh. I, why are you getting into these arguments? Just get out. Oh man, see that's the thing. I get out though, and then I run into her. And it's like okay, like not too long ago, we stopped talking, right? Because we're, we're at each other. <sighs> Well, check this out. We're already telling the story or whatever, right? And then uh, whatever, we stop talking and we, we, we end up at the same bar. She's there. We don't talk to each other. We acknowledge each other. But at the end of the night, we're at my house hanging out doing our thing. Stupid. It's stupid. And it's like back, it's like, it's like back to square one. So, like, so just cut it off. Yeah. Well, and there's the thing. I mean, I, I don't know. I can, if you're looking for that, I mean, she's got her stuff together. You know, she's got. You she's don't want stuff. my advice. You want to call in here and tell me why you're right. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You right, don't you know? want my advice. You don't. I'm not right. Like, I mean, she, she's gonna give me some damn good money. You know what I'm saying? Again, I like. Who cares? <laughs> it's not your money. Right. But all right, I got you. And you're gonna keep going with this, aren't you? Nah, you know what? I kind of, well, I guess I sound like everybody that calls. I kind of had an idea, but, you know, I just want to hear it from somebody who just heard the story right off the bat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, don't tolerate crap. Just get out. Don't tell her what to do. Don't tell her what you think she should do. Don't ask her to stop doing what she's doing. Just get out. Yeah, I, I, you know what? And then she busted out with, oh, you know what? I need I need a partner. I don't need another dad because I had told her something. I was like, well, no, you know, you'll be happy not to be her dad. She can go off, go out to clubs every night if she wants to. That's fine. But my life as far as I have to think about girls that like to go out to bars and clubs. You know what I'm talking about? Like, ain't nothing good going on at 3 in the morning. That's right. In the morning. Well, I, but, but again, you've been tolerating it. I don't know why you have. Yeah. Uh, even, right? Even if she's... All right. What is your bust out with? Oh, okay. Well, I said I'm done with all that and all this stuff. Again, I, I I don't see why you need to be locked into one person. I don't get it. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me. I, I wish I could. <laughs> what do you mean you wish you could? You have no could. control over yourself. No, well, I do. But I'm saying like, like no, I don't you I don't. Do That's what you're telling me. You don't have any control. You know, if I don't want to be with a chick who does things I don't approve of, I'm not with her. It's that simple. True. So why lesson, would you be? Lesson learned. I, lesson learned. I got you. So I stop you doing it. I hear you loud and clear. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Holy cow. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like us 101 with Lee. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Lee. How you doing? Great. Just a quick question. Um, I've been dating a guy for five months now, and he's asking me to move in and wants to get married. And I'm 37, and I just really like, I've never been married, no kids, and I just like dating him and having a good time, and I don't know what to say to him after his question. About How about the truth? How about what you just told me? Good idea. <laughs> you ever consider the truth? That's always a good way to start. But I really enjoy being with him, and I've never... So you'll tell him that. I really enjoy being with you, but I don't want to get married, don't want to live with anybody. Just like that. What's wrong with that? I don't know, because this is like the first guy that I've ever really, really, really cared about. Fine. So it's going to be the first guy you really care about who's going to be disappointed when you tell him that you don't want what he wants. You are not required to want what the other person wants. That's true. That's very true. If he, he wants one thing and you want another, if he wants you, he's going to have to do it under your terms. 
that's smart. That's smart. And if he doesn't, then forget him. And that's right. Move on. That's right. Because haven't you heard how miserable the people are who give in to people like that? Yes. So yes. do you want that's... to be one of them? No, sir. Then you can't do that. You got to tell them. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Tom, thank you so much. Would you take me out tribal style, please? Of course I will, Lee. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge, 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 sopenza. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's the Tom Likas Show. With shorter commercial breaks than ever before, the Tom Likas Show. Likas one hundred one one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Craig on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing today? Doing okay. Right, man. Man, I have a question for you, man. Yeah. Why why you are hurting our economy by taking the cheap labor away from us, man? How am I doing that? All these people, all these kids these days are popping up with babies, becoming parents at, what, 21, 22, yes. 23, start going to college, studies are their priority. You're taking cheap labor, man. I know, I know. Why are you doing that? Well... <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I, I know that the folks at Jiffy Lube and Easy Lube, they're going to be very upset. Exactly, man. Where I are mean, you going to get you know, people? If the guys aren't knocking up their girlfriends at 16, where are they going to find people? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm going to need someone to come mow my loan, you know, wash my car, yes. clean up my house. I mean, come on. Oh, I yes. Do that. I need people <laughs> to clean my garage out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and then people complain that people from India and China and Japan come over and take over all the high-paying jobs, like being doctor, engineers, and all whatnot. I haven't seen uh, a lot of Indians taking the 1995 oil-changing jobs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got nothing to say about that, man. I'm Indian, too, so, you know, I got, I got to keep my, you know, I, I got to be on my people's side of this I side. understand, <laughs> yes. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Thank you, Craig. Call. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Olivia on Lycus one hundred one. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. Good. Tom, I got to say, I'm listening to your show. I haven't been back in the Los Angeles area for about sixteen years, and I'm shocked. About what? Well, people act so surprised. You know, like attracts like. You want a good woman, you got to be a good man. You you want an educated woman, you got to be an educated man. I you know I just don't. See I don't think our I don't think our students want any of that. They just want to get laid. Yeah, this is this. You know what? I I'm hearing that loud and clear. But you know, hey, then they shouldn't be surprised about what they're picking up. You know what I'm saying? Well, the thing is, you know, just I I always say that uh, ejaculation is the equivalent of urination. Okay, I don't fall in love with the toilet after I'm done using it. Okay, I flush and I go. Exactly, but if you want to use something, you got to understand that. It's a usable industry, so what you're attracting is what you're getting. Well, so. I, but the problem is that, that you can't make a hoe into a housewife. After you've had sex with somebody, Absolutely. it's time to, to leave them and move on to the next victim. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny how they're acting so surprised about what they've gotten into. It's like, come on, you know, you want this is how you start the relationship. This is how you got to end it. So, I just I'm very shocked at the ignorance of these guys getting into these relationships. These women. Oh, that, I'm never shocked about ignorance because all these years you've been gone, I've been here doing a radio show. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised. I'm a I'm an educated woman, and I just thought, wow, slim pickings out there. Let me tell you. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Including including your last caller with the NASCAR five four hundred and forty pounds. <laughs> I'm waiting to see those photos. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for your time. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Olivia. You too. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's like us one oh one with Lisa. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Great. Hey, you know, I uh, wanted to tell you that I, I have enjoyed your show. I've enjoyed listening to these guys that, as one of your callers said, can't understand what they're getting themselves into. They just need to open their eyes. But my question for you is, do you actually believe in relationships? 
What do you mean, do I believe in them? What I've actually been hearing is, of course, your show is basically how these guys get laid, right? So, and, but do you believe that people can have a relationship without just going out and getting laid also? Well, they can. I also believe somebody can jump off a 16-story building and live. <laughs> they can. They probably um, won't, but they can. Uh, well, you know, as, as I said, that's, that's what I wanted to ask you, sir. So. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the deal. I mean, uh, I, what I tell guys is there's nothing in it for guys to get married or have a serious relationship. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, to each his own. But well, I'm just saying, what, what, look, whatever a guy can get from being married or in a relationship, he can get without being married or in a relationship. Never forget, the reason it's called a marriage license is because at one time you needed a license to fornicate. You needed a license to procreate. You needed a license to cohabitate. Well, you don't need that anymore. You can have babies with anyone you like. You can have sex with anyone you like. You can live with anyone you like or not. Exactly. But a relationship doesn't mean marriage. I guess I'm not actually saying getting married. I'm just saying a relationship together without just getting in and getting back out. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, what I prefer is the bullpen theory, uh, where you have uh, a number of people in your bullpen who you call upon. Uh, they have uh, they call them in baseball relief specialists. Uh, you bring your relief pitchers in uh, for the appropriate situation. Uh, you know, so you have, just like in a baseball team, when you have the long reliever, relieves generally first in the game, the middle reliever, who comes in maybe the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings. You've got the setup man, who pitches the seventh and eighth. And then you've got, uh, of course, the closer, who pitches the ninth. Uh, what I recommend to guys is that they have women who serve different functions like that. You've got the woman who's just a complete tramp. You've got the woman who who cleans up nicely and would be great to take to that company function you need to go to, like the upcoming holiday parties or whatever. Uh, you've got the chick who, who likes going to a movie. You've got the chick who likes going to a sporting event. You've got the chick who just wants to bang and bang and bang again. And you kind of call in the relief specialist you need at any given time. Well, you know what? That can definitely work. And that way, uh, you get all the benefits. And then, any, by the way, there's benefits for women. How many times have you been in a relationship with a guy who just wants to have sex every time he sees you? And honestly, you're not into it every time he sees you. If you were, if you were in the bullpen, he could just call in another relief specialist when you uh, don't feel like taking them out. Yeah, me, I, it, I, unfortunately, well, not actually, unfortunately, fortunately for me, I've actually been married for 19 years, so, but, uh, you know, as Ever I Ever feel like yeah. you need a relief pitcher once in a while? <laughs> you know, I, I, mm, I'd have to say no, but actually the man You know, somebody been, plays Welcome to the area. Jungle, and then uh, some other guy comes out of the bullpen? No, I gotta say, my man at fifty-one can still come out of that bullpen very well. So that's so. I'm, I'm right. good. <laughs> All right, I'm just checking. No, because for okay. a lot of people, I think they need to build a bullpen. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much: from what I've been listening to, these young men that are going out there and going, "Hey, what did I get myself into?" Uh huh. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. education, no nothing. I just, it's it it. Uh, I do property management, so believe me, I see it every day. So Yeah, but uh, I want to tell you, uh, you know, when I go to the gas station, I need to go in and pick up a Diet Pepsi. There's always someone to sell it to me there. <laughs> Make it eight bucks an hour. Always will be. Always will be the McDonald's people. Always, if I need to buy a Bic lighter, three in the morning, there's always somebody who knocked up his girlfriend ready to sell it to me. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> what would I do without off. these morons? Who, who knock up their girlfriends? What if all the guys started taking my advice? They wouldn't be able to have gas stations open after 11 o'clock at night. There'd be no more 1995 oil changes, I'll tell you that. Well, you might also not also have a bunch of babies running around with no gas. And yeah. so forth, so, yeah. Who do you think would manage all those Del Tacos? There wouldn't be anyone telling if they just take your advice. <laughs> That's exactly right. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very much. Hey, take me out with the barn here, dude. All right, Donnie, here you go. <coughs> 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 
one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Like us one oh one. I am your professor, Oscar, on the Tom Like Us Show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's up? Not much. Hey, check it out. So I met this bride, right? At the um at the Northridge Mall. She's nineteen. She's beautiful, man. She's blonde. She's great everything. And uh I'm just trying to see where I can take her for her first date. I met her I met her a couple of days ago. You met her a couple of days ago? Yeah, I got her phone number. She's beautiful, man. And I want to know where I can take her for a first date without looking like an idiot and without spending so much money. Well, you don't want to spend money if you can avoid it. Avoid the date? No, no, you don't want to spend money if you can avoid it. Uh, you know, good places to go. Uh, she's under drinking age and you are not. Correct. Would be a place like a hotel bar where they don't check IDs to come in. Oh, all right. So uh, you live in the San Fernando Valley? Yeah. Well, there's uh, several hotels in the Sherman Oaks area, for example. Oh, yeah. And uh, you can find which ones have a lobby bar that's open late. Oh, uh, yeah. And that way, the two of you can hang out at a bar and not really have an issue. Oh, uh, that's cool. I'm not uh, yeah. suggesting you illegally buy her drinks or anything like that. I'm just saying if the two of you want to hang out at a bar, yeah. you have a lot easier time getting in at a hotel lobby bar. Excellent. You know? Yeah, I've been, I've, been listening to, I've been listening to your show for quite a while, and I've been taking your advice just... Getting tail, yeah, doing good for myself, being selfish like I'm supposed to be. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Tom, can you take me out Kobe style followed by Snoop Dogg? I can, Oscar. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Biatch! 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likus Show. From Hollywood, Likus 101 with Professor Tom Likus. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Manuel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. And what's good? Well, uh, just about everything as soon as I get out of here. Oh, what you doing? Well, I need your help. You know what I mean? My brother has a girl, and I kind of got her pregnant, and I was trying to see if you could help me out. How am I supposed to help you out? Uh, didn't I help you out by telling you to always use a condom? Wow. <laughs> That's a funny story. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. sure it's not a funny story. What's the story? Well, it was like, it was Saturday night, you know. I was kicking at her house, you know. We kind of got drunk. And it just happened, you know. She, like, no, no, it, it happened because you let it happen. Well, yeah, but you know, I, mean, I couldn't really control myself. You yeah, know? well, then you have to learn to control yourself. Six beers in one night, you can't really control it. What are you doing drinking? So you're 17. What are you doing drinking six beers in one night? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah, well, you engage in crazy behavior, you get crazy results. <laughs> and what are you yeah. doing with hanging out with your brother's girlfriend? I don't know because I'm the one who hooked him up to first, you know, in the first no, Don't place. give me, I don't know. Take responsibility. But if it wasn't for me, she would have never met him. And, you That's know. not the point. You introduced him to her, the two of them together. You did that. Yeah. So why now are you interfering? I don't know, man. I don't know. Because you're, do. you're an immature moron. That's what. <laughs> uh, so what should I do? What should you do? Yeah, should I tell him or what? You've already screwed up. Well, she's going to tell him. Oh, but I'm going to get my ass full. Because she's my having a baby. Yeah, but I mean, she like, can she like fake it and pretend it's his baby or something? Oh, no, she can pretend, but guess what? Huh? Who's going to be paying the child support? Him? I don't know. I mean, You would I let your brother, let me ask you a question. This is your brother we're talking about. You would let your brother pay child support on a baby that's yours? Well, yeah. What I mean, a piece of crap. Know. You're a complete piece of crap. Hey, you think that's funny? That's not really nice, you know. No, oh no, you're not really nice. Um, well, yeah, so so, what should I do at the end, though? Should I, like, tell them or 
By the way, did you try to have her have an abortion? Abortion? Yes. Well, not because it's going to be too late. I mean, I don't want to have an abortion. What, is she eight my, months pregnant? It's my baby. I mean, I want to see at least grow or something. But did she, did, did she's with your brother. But still, I mean... You're not seeing anything. It's wrong, you know, it took so long for me to create it. You know, it took me like 20 minutes, I mean. Oh, you're so full of crap. You really are. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Thanks. This is not a good crank call. You know what, son? It's not a good one. It's not funny. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. So I can... invented the crank call, son, and it's just not a good one. You need to have some wit. Can you take me out, Kobe? Stein? No, I'm not. No. Mm -mm. Your time is up. A lousy crank call. A, a lousy one. You know what? When I was nine, I used to make crank calls to shows. I used to crank call the Larry King radio show. I was one of the most chronic crankers there was. Can I tell you something? I know every crank call there is. And, son, you're a little boy and you don't know how to make these calls. There needs to be some semblance of wit. It wasn't even funny. Go back to the drawing board, son. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going okay. All right. Well, I got a question for you. Um, yeah. I've been dating a girl for six months, and like an idiot, I agreed to share an apartment with her. Why? Um, the reason why is because I'm not much of a nightlife kind of guy. I'm just I I really enjoy going to bed early and waking up early. So you can enjoy your apartment at night. I know. Okay, but here this is why I did it. I was save I was saving up to buy a house. Um, and she recommended, hey, why don't you just run a place with me? And I said, we'll, we'll, she said, we'll split it 50-50. And I was, I was stupid, but said, yes, you know, I can, I, that way I can still save up for a house on the side. So I figured, you know. Which, what? by the way, her game plan will be to take her part of the house, too. Yeah, I know. But that's where luckily I know I'm tough enough to say no. You should be saying no now. <laughs> I know. I why should. are you not tough enough to say no now? I know, and, and another reason why I did is because we get along really well. Like Fine, we, but you don't get along well enough that you can have your own opinion. Yeah. And your opinion is, no matter how well you get along, you like living alone. You know, you I had, kinda... you, you had a focus. You had a game plan. Live in this apartment, saving up, buying a house. You had a game plan. Right. Why would you let someone come in just because the sex is good and ruin your game plan? <clears throat> well, I, I guess that the, I guess I was just kind of eager, eager to get out. I was living with mom and dad, you know. And instead of just sucking it up, living with mom and dad some more, I or said, you know what? get a roommate. <laughs> I don't. Know. By the uh, way, so if you live with mom and dad. Moving uh -huh. in with her means you're going to be paying all this money to rent a place with her that you're not paying now. Right. Meaning you'll be saving less. Right. Yeah. So are you going to give up on your dream that easily? No. Well. Well, I did, though. I know. Uh, you have to stop this before it happens. All right. You have to stop it. Okay. Just tell her that you were, you had time to think about it. Tell her you talked it over with your parents, whatever. Right. And tell her that uh, everybody agreed this was, uh, you're not ready for that. Right. And I have no problem doing that. I was just, I'm too busy convincing myself that it would be a, an okay idea. It's not an okay idea. You want to buy a house. This is going to slow that down. Yeah, I know. Okay. You know, let her get an apartment. You can go over there and have sex with her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then she can pay for it. Sounds good to me. Sounds pretty good to me, too. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Eugene on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay. All right. Um, I've been listening to you for the past two weeks since October. And um, I was my a coworker of mine told me about you. And the one thing I want to say is that I admire uh, 
how how bold you are. You are very bold, straightforward. So people, a lot of people that listen to you that call in should appreciate that. You don't too much get that. But um, down to me, I'm 26. Um, I'm a I'm a father of two. Um, I was with. Uh, I had a girlfriend, of course, back in high school, and she and I had our first child. What was that? I believe. Why did you do I, that? Well, not making good choices. I know that for one. Um, I had a lot of opportunities to, you know, go to a Division One playing football and whatever. Just the choices that I, that I made, it caught up with me, you know. And you gave these dreams away. Yes, I did. It mm. was only obvious. I mean, from coaches to staff, they were always in my ear. She and I both went to junior high school together, high school, so they knew our our, our relationship was pretty much exposed, obviously. Ever watch now, the NFL on Sunday afternoon? I'm a Dallas fan. And yeah, so I, you ever watch and think that could have been me on there? Yes, I always say that. Sometimes it brings me to tears because I love the game so much, and I just have to accept the fact that I'm not there. I'm just as good enough to, to have competed as good as Reggie Bush was, so it's it's something that I have to look look beyond. It's hard, but I get by every day, you know. What a, what a tragedy! Yes, it's a very tragedy for the fact that I love the sport so much and I couldn't continue with it. Finally, having you know a child in high school, I didn't know anything about you. Now that my uh, coworker put me on game as far as you go, I need some advice. I need to be in a situation where I want to feel good about myself. Um, she and I are no longer together. I don't know where she lives. She's claiming she's out of state. Um, I see these these looks from different women, plus there's a girl that I work with. She likes me. But all your all of the, the one-on-one you give, it gives me the idea I don't want to get into a relationship. That's right. Um, you don't want to get into a relationship. You want to improve your life, your career, make things better for you. Do not let women get in the way of you doing that, Eugene. Thanks for the call. The Tom Likas Show.